We're back again. <laughs> bro, we're not about to do this, bro. Look. A whole year later. <laughs> and a lot more smaller. The best time of the year. Halloween. We love celebrating it. We like going outside, dressing up, you know, trick or treating. For some of y'all, a little bit more than that, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, you know what I mean? But, like, you know, it's Halloween. We're talking about cartoons again. This time we're ranking cartoons. Y'all see the title, bro. We're ranking cartoons. Best cartoons Halloween specials edition, you know? Best Halloween special edition now y'all see if y'all ever seen my video last last year you know what i mean like we did we did uh you know hood classic halloween cartoons uh movies stuff like that we're not doing that okay look this is specifically as you can see specifically between the big three slash four i guess you could say we're ranking each and every we're not ranking every in each cartoon we're not doing that we're ranking some of my favorite shows Halloween special. So we're doing Disney, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network. So no, if your favorite show does not make it on here, I'm sorry. If your if your favorite show does not make it on here, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I'm not, bro. I don't want. I don't. I don't need somebody going down there and be like, but what about Loud House? I don't. You know what I'm saying? I could already see it, bro. I did not watch Loud House. And you can you you'll see on this list because I, I know a lot of people gonna get mad when seeing this because you'll be like, how the heck do you watch this show? But you don't watch this show. Look, man, look, bro. You know what I mean? It is what it is, bro. Look, I hope y'all are having a good day. First of all, I want you to click that subscribe button. I'm not gonna keep on telling y'all, bro. Click the subscribe button right now. Right now. What are you still click it right now, bro? You're helping me out, bruh. You're helping me out. You're helping me out. Next, I need y'all to go follow all my, you know what I'm saying? I hate I hate doing this, bro. You know what I'm saying? First of all, can I rant for a second? I know this video is going to be long as, long as heck, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying not to cuss because, you know what I mean? I also need to get paid because I ain't getting paid anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? This is all I could get paid for. All y'all do is look, watch the reactions anyway. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is. You know I can't get paid for those. So, you got to help a boy out or else I'm not, I, ain't, I can't keep on doing this, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know what I mean? We're trying to do different stuff. You know what I mean? We're going, we're venturing outside. Y'all see, y'all see some of the bangers I've been dropping outside. You know what I mean? Yes, I'm still doing reactions here here and there but you know what i'm saying i'm not a reaction channel i'm, not, I'm gonna keep on reminding y'all especially i'm gonna keep on saying that especially for youtube i'm not a reaction channel okay you know what i mean follow the gaming channel first of all first and foremost follow the game actually first and foremost leave a comment bro leave a comment if you're watching this video right now leave a comment bro leave a like let me know what you like let me see if you this if you disagree with me or agree with me i don't you know it is what it is leave a like on leave a like on the video bro leave a comment on the video you know what i'm saying like you know me help your boy out second of all i need y'all to follow all the things on on in the link in the description down below you know what i'm saying come through on the twitch we're watching movies we're watching we're playing games we're doing all this stuff you know what i'm saying come through on the twitch second of all follow my other two channels that i got i got a music channel i mean y'all already doing that so you know what i mean don't worry about it but but follow the gaming channel because i'm posting a lot of games and stuff on there i'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be as more active over there as i can but i'm also i'm writing i'm writing stuff right now you know what i'm saying we're making you know I me mean? we're, we're venturing outside and stuff you know what i mean next thing i need y'all to do is follow me on twitter and instagram all the links are down in the description so you know what i mean i'm just letting y'all know yes i'm on instagram i've been on instagram i'm on twitter follow if y'all want to see behind the scene other extra stuff you know what i mean i don't really be tweeting a lot like that you know what i mean it's really only for for stuff that you know i'm interested in. i'm not i'm not here like, you might you might get a random tweet here too or that i don't know you know what i'm saying like you know what i mean i do be saying some controversial stuff but if i got something to say i'm gonna say it on live on twitch tv forward slash beautiful nick you know what i'm saying come through on the on the twitch twitch channel you know what i'm saying like you know what i mean come through on the discord all i'm gonna say on that you know what i mean we are definitely a goal and i am being honest right now you better go follow the the dang Discord rules are going to come to your house and murder every single one of your vegetables in all of your vegetable gardens. But that's besides the point, though, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to need y'all to do that first and foremost. You know what I mean? And then after you do all that, continue on with the video. First and foremost, look, we're going to be ranking 
the best cartoons of all the well, it's not a rank list i don't know why this is i didn't decide whether if we were just gonna rank it or i'm just gonna talk about it and you know give it a rating or whatever i don't know look i literally spent the last like week or two watching nothing but cartoons halloween specials not just cartoons but everything like you know what i mean all the good stuff y'all see my video last year we already touched on some of it but i didn't really rank them i didn't that video was kind of purposeless purposeless Pur purposeless that video was kind of purposeless so i don't even really know why i even really made that video i guess it was just a video i wanted to make because you know what i mean I, for some reason youtube thinks that i'm still just a reaction channel which i'm not but you know what i mean it is what it is but first and foremost you know what i'm saying like you know we're gonna sit up here we're gonna you know talk about some stuff and i actually did watch i actually did watch every single show almost every single show that we we're on that we that i'm when we're talking about we're gonna go through this very quickly bing my boom my boom you know what i'm saying very quickly you know what i mean now as you can see today's date that i'm releasing this on the same exact day that i released my first one you know what i mean so insinuating that this is going to be a yearly thing and insinuating that you also are still watching as you 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 insinuating that y'all are gonna watch this because y'all assuming that y'all already you know you already know what's going on here you know i'm a i'm a i'm a cartoon fanatic i love animation so y'all know this is what i'm I, I i like to talk about you know what i mean i like to talk about that old that old video was which, which really was a year ago which is crazy you can see the difference as you can see as you can see bro you as you can see but yeah what am i talking about let's get into the video so let's get in the nicks and crannies of it look we all love halloween y'all know what type of video this is bro we sit up here ranking not really ranking them i'm just really talking about them and i'm giving you my honest review on each each show that we that i've watched that we watched on here these are halloween specials halloween special episodes uh i'm gonna give you a couple rules that i had to follow which i didn't really follow them because i don't follow the rules because i'm a rebel what what was that first and foremost it has to be it, it has to be like a halloween special duh that should be the first one first and foremost the day doesn't really matter as long as it's halloween themed so you know what i mean like or it gives off some halloween vibes you know what i'm saying i went on a list i went to see what was the most i try to put as many shows as i could there's a lot that i could do so i might do a part two let me know if y'all leave a comment leave a like on the video to assure me and let me know that y'all actually want to see a part two because i'd never know with this because i don't know if youtube be pushing shut the well, we're gonna start out with mickey mouse himself big disney the only one you know what i'm saying the only one it's not the only one but big disney and we and we're gonna start off with the disney tier list first and rank them from the best one and i'm gonna click like what's the word we're gonna we're gonna see who has the best halloween specials combined at, in a score of you know means math math we're doing math <laughs> so first show we got even stevens and i know a lot of people just clicked off the Look, we're not here to debate Shia LaBeouf. We're not here for that. And, you know what I mean? We're just basing this off the show. This is going to be a common thing. Even Steven, it was a very scary story as it was told as the as the special. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. It was I. Right. It was I. Right. It was it was your run of the mill, random, regular Halloween uh, episode. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I don't even know what the purpose was because literally the whole the whole plot of the story was this drink your milk they lose in the eyes drink your milk c next we got kim possible episode titled october 31st pretty simple turn to a robot yeah hold her friends it was you know it was pretty standard run in the mill uh halloween episode b next we got phil of the future now look as far as the halloween episode it was pretty uh pretty simple uh you know they go to the room where the old girl got her got them doing cupcakes like on some slave stuff i don't know what the heck that was all about but you know 
definitely on some slave mentality they end up finding out her weakness uh, about overheating so they end up eating the cupcakes saving the day she ends up melting on some uh wizard of oz ish and you know that was pretty much it it was i see next we have that's a raven episode don't have a cow you turn into cows b next we have sweet life of cody the ghost of the sweet 613 now i'm gonna be honest with you sexy ghost and then that's it see next we have lizzie mcguire now before anybody says anything lizzie mcguire is goaded i do not care what anybody says cadet kelly is the best disney original tv show movie to ever exist and i will fight anybody tooth and nail to that well maybe maybe not the best one but it's my favorite one so i'm gonna be biased i love lizzie mcguire this is this one's called night of the dead of the day of the dead long story short she turns into a zombie and then day of the dead rubber dad on gun it was a c next we have proud family proud family a hero of halloween this was pretty like this one was you know what i'm saying like unbiased aside this one was pretty like this one was, I, I enjoyed this one i enjoyed this one a little bit synopsis of the story oh, rest in peace my nigga magician she turns into supergirl Beats up ghost, beats up gross sisters. Romeo, little Romeo. Uh, the guy that sold them the house, which I kind of find is interesting because the first time I watched this episode, or even the second time or the third time I watched this, I never caught this. But basically, the the owner of the house that they bought the they bought the house from comes back to warn him that there was a ghost spirit that can't that used to live at their house or something. And that's why he sold the house for five hundred dollars mind you they live in california they got a two-story five-bedroom house and he got that house for five hundred dollars now i'm gonna be honest with you you buying a house in like the fictional version of california which i think it was i don't even know it was i think it was like a fictional fictional california ish area who knows it was a it's a cartoon they got the house for five five hundred dollars now if i'm gonna be honest with you you get a two-story, four-bedroom, two-bad house for five hundred dollars in a. That is a steal. I don't care if it got, got if it got ghost or nothing. I don't care. That is amazing. That is that is an amazing deal. But that's besides the point. I'm gonna give that a solid. It was like a solid B. Next we got Jake Jake Long, American Dragon. Yeah, the Halloween Bash. It's nothing too special. Um. American Cowboy, American Dragon, White America. See, obviously I've already talked about the movies. If y'all wanna hear my thoughts about the movies, this Halloween movie specials that came out on Disney, go watch my video that I did literally a year ago from today. Literally came out on the same day a year ago. Go, go ahead and watch that. It's on here somewhere, card somewhere. I don't know. Go, go give it a like. I did. I put a lot of time in that video, you know. So it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, we're moving on. <laughs> now we have the one, the only Cartoon Network, the king of cartoons. The king of cartoons, obviously, not really. I don't really know. My personal favorite uh, favorite channel, you know what I mean? I will say, I will say when it comes to like specials, they also are very like, they're hit or miss. They're hit and miss on the specials. Some of these episodes did not come out on the month of October or they weren't even Halloween themed uh, per se, but I guess they were 
according to the internet i used the internet google a lot to to try to distinguish what was a halloween episode but actually going to watch some of these a lot of these i will say are not really halloween themed they're a scary theme don't get twisted but not halloween spooky theme and yes to be fair they to play caveat or whatever some of these were released in october like a lot of these were released in october but it's like just because something is released in october doesn't automatically make it a halloween special so it is. but we're gonna start off the list with none and only grim event the uh, the adventures of billy and mandy grim adventures of billy and mandy uh they actually had two actual like halloween specific episodes you know what i'm saying tied tie to halloween now to be fair let's be honest grim adventures just the same as another like a couple of these other ones that are going to be on this high key could be halloween all the way around so it's kind of really hard to distinguish but to be fair this is a halloween special episode that they did uh the wrath of the spider queen and jackoween i think it was called the two episodes um to break these down very quickly because these are both like hours long i don't have a lot of a lot of time with this video so you know what i mean i'm gonna try to break this down as fast as i can or else i would make this a whole a whole separate video but you know this is all combined into one video the wrath of the spider queen was pretty simple it was just you know spider six and a story nothing else happens after that and the same thing with the jack oween thing pretty much it's the it was, it was the backstory of uh the It was still fire. I liked it though. S first S. Don't you think I'm pretty? Regular show. I mean, to be to be honest with you, there's I can't really explain any of these. If y'all know regular show, regular show had their uh, Terror Tales of the Park series. Uh, every season they do a Halloween special where they tell many stories. Uh, nothing too special. And before people will say yes, it, it is a direct rip off of the Simpsons. Yes, yeah, Simpsons did it first. You know what I mean? That's why I'm not having Simpsons on here. Simpsons is ass, but that's besides here or there but um yeah they, it's nothing too special um it's just random stories uh they're the basic plot for all of these is like they're either going to a party or something or something like that happened nothing too significant they're all different random stories that are told i think my favorite one was the one where they were trying to go see uh muscle man's uh mom and they <laughs> on the way when they finally go meet muscle man's mom like end up being like some random like uh it ended up being him t doing a prank but then he ends up getting pranked by his own mom so his mom ended up pranking him and stuff which i'm gonna be honest with you uh muscle man's mom was kind of bad i'm not even gonna lie to you if i ever see it <laughs> what overall a next we have camp laszlo now before i hear the booze i hear the booze before anybody says anything i love camp laszlo okay there's gonna be a lot of episodes on here, or shows on here that y'all might not agree with, but I love Camp Laszlo. And I'm saying it now. Now, as far as this episode goes, I was not a fan of Camp La of this episode in particular. It was a Halloween episode, but I didn't really like it like that. Uh, Camp Laszlo, hollow, hollow, hollow beanies. Simple, not something straightforward. They throw up candy. And monkey you shouldn't even be here we don't believe in halloween here well okay as long as you know that those who don't believe will get tormented by the curse of the halloween spirit until they do the curse of the halloween spirit blah, 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 blah. all i believe is that you mutants should leave me alone let's go guys we'll find another house <laughs> see simple as that next we have a good old classic dexter's laboratory now i'm not even gonna lie to you um when i try to search up a halloween special for this i swear i swear to god that i thought that dexter's laboratory had like a halloween special uh which technically they did with the fillet of soul or a fillet of soul i would if you're from the uk <laughs> but like it wasn't really like a halloween special necessarily it was more like a spooky time uh, which it was still fire though it was one of, it was one of, it's a classic it's a classic uh 
uh, Dexter's Laboratory episode. Long story short, they f- they flush a fish down the toilet. The end of that. What was kind of crazy though, like their, <laughs> which was funny though, their dad came in at the end though, and it's like this is early in the morning now, and it's like, and he literally tells his kid verbatim. How many times have I told you? Early morning is daddy's special bathroom privacy time. <laughs> what is daddy's special time? What is that? No, that was it. A, solid A. They had another one. It was called Trick or Tree House. Um, it was pretty little, little short. Uh, and tree secrets. They don't want him in the tree at all. He got caught. Next, we have Adventure Time from Bad to Worse slash uh, Ghost Fly. Once again, these weren't really like Halloween-ish episodes. Um, Bad, Bad to Worse was kind of more of Halloween. Uh, Ghost Fly wasn't really. Uh, Ghost Fly's uh, synopsis was pretty like... Jumping over that gag only with a big scar. Feel like GTA with like three stars. He's beating up ghost. A ghost fly. Jake's beating up a ghost fly. And then Bimo killed him. From bad to worse, it was also pretty self-explanatory. They turn to candy zombies. Mouse heals them. They're better now. It was a B. It wasn't really Halloween isk. I mean, to the extent it was, but like, you know. B. Next, we have Foster's Home of Imaginary Friends, Nightmare on Wilson's Way. Now, once again, these are one of those one of those shows where I'm gonna dig right, which I feel like a lot of people don't give Foster's Home of its flowers. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna say something controversial, bro. I'm going to say something controversial, and y'all not gonna like it when I say this. Cause I know a lot of y'all are are, are, are uh, Amazing World of Gumball fans, but if there was no if there was no Foster's Home, there would not be no Gumball. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Foster's Home was a, a ahead of its time. Foster's Home was ahead of its time. You can disagree with me if you want, but Foster's Home was ahead of its time, bro. But look, basically, long story short, y'all gonna see hear me say long story short a long time. OD on drugs. OD on candy. Uh, Blue's a horrible, horrible person. Kills Harriman. Zombies. Ultimately, it was a Halloween episode. It was a solid episode. B like this. next we're moving on i would want i was i was really hoping that flapjack had one too but flapjack didn't have one so we don't we're not going to cover flapjack but, but to be honest flapjack with high key we'll, we'll argue we'll argue that it's high key halloween all the time type type is if there is a if there was a halloween episode for flapjack let me know i did my extensive research which which is google i did my extensive google research and try to find as much as i can but i couldn't find one next we're moving on k and d codename kiss next door uh, obviously, classic, classic show. They always kill it with the hot, with the with the specials, and especially the Halloween one, which was which was one of my favorite. Operation Tricky. They did have another one, but I I don't. Uh, it wasn't necessarily a Halloween episode, more than like a horror episode. This Operation Tricky was more of a Halloween episode uh, because they're actually going out to trick or treat. There was Halloween epi- elements in this. So I'm counting, I'm doing this one. We we will talk about the other one in a future one. But basically, how Operation Tricky. Um, Sticky Beard. Riz is up number three. Number four. Best character. Candy. So what does the new booty taste like? Yeah. Next, we have Chowder. Now, to be fair, I know a lot of people are going to be hating on Chowder once again. 
Chowder was ahead of its time. And once again, if it was no Chowder, there would not be no Amazing World of Gumball. And the reason why I keep on iterating that, because I will not be putting Amazing, uh, Amazing World of Gumball on here because I do not care for that series at all whatsoever. I appreciate for what they did, but I do not care for that series at all. To be honest, I thought it was a horrible show. I could be wrong, but you know, I thought it was a horrible show. Y'all really gonna hate me after, after seeing this list. But Chowder was ahead of its time. One of my favorite shows of all time. This will not be speaking towards the Halloween special, though. Simple Halloween uh, special, The Poltergeist, or Poultrygeist. <laughs> Play on words, Poultrygeist. Uh, pretty much, it's self-explanatory. This lucky dish was never eaten. Left to rot here behind the radiator that it went. Ghost chicken. Let's see, we have... Clarence. Now, I know people are going to be mad, be like, Brittany, how the heck you got Clarence on here, but you don't have the amazing world of gumball. Look, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I just feel like Clarence was just a way better show. I would put Uncle Grandpa on here because, you know what I'm saying? You got to remember, look, first, I'm going to set y'all a scene, bro. Any cartoon that was like from 2013, 2000, 2013 to like 2000. 16 to 17 i have watched yes but i watched it on a di different like Bugs and alcohol and i will say claire's high key is a fire show uncle grandpa not so much you can't you can't watch uncle Br grandpa unless if you you know home and smoke marijuana at school Ch like like clarence so i can watch clarence not being you know what i'm saying out of my mind you know what i'm saying with that being said though clarence spooky boo High Key was a fire, and I was not fire, but it was definitely a good, like, Halloween, actual Halloween episode. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, it was actually a really good Halloween episode. It, it, it for what the times it was bring it, it brought, it was one of those new gen, like, cartoons that kind of still embody, and this is all my opinion, by the way. Clarence is still one of those new gen, like, like, newer gen cartoons that, you know, still embodied the cartoon spirit to where i wanted to watch it we do not care but y'all don't care about that we're talking about scary 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 shows spooky boo spooky boo was basically story goes retirement home does that thing shed or is it like real cat hair you know what i mean ultimately i like this though no bias e i'm gonna give it an a we got Steven Universe, another GOAT show. Y'all know me. I can, I'm This going to be pretty rev relevant. Uh, Horror Club. If y'all know, y'all know. I'm going to give it a B. I don't even have to explain it. It's pretty much self-explanatory. If you know Steven Universe, it's one of the most popular cartoons of all time. If you want me to explain it, it's pretty simple. Friends get in the fight. Steven's cool. Poltergeist. Uh, they end up becoming friends this that, and third um yeah solid b next next we have johnny bravo the goat now i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna keep it a buck bro i know a lot of people do not like johnny bravo uh you know it's, johnny bravo will not be aired nowadays because you know massage more whatever da, da, da. look we're this is cartoons bro we don't really care about all that stuff you know what i'm saying uh, you know we, we don't care but we hear about johnny bravo but you know you know i gotta put i got i had to put my boy johnny bravo on there uh, because he's the goat. He is the goat. Uh, as far as series, as far as the Halloween series goes, there weren't really Halloween s. They were more like horror, but they they still it's still not failed to mention because it was still. I think these. I think both of these. Yeah. So they were kind of Halloween ish. So you know, kind of relevant for the times. Frank and Bravo and Going Batty were the two sh two episodes. They're pretty much similar pot plots. I'm gonna be honest. Well, not similar plots. They're pretty much self explanatory. Uh, one was uh Johnny Bravo harassment simple as that going batty was kind of the same thing it was basically harassment 
ultimately it was a C. Hey, baby. Next, we have My Gym Partners a Monkey. Now I know a lot of people don't remember My Gym Partners a Monkey. Look, I know, I know this one's more personal, I guess, because I was really I, I ironically thought this was, this was one of those shows that a lot of people just did not pay attention to. But High Key was maybe a little underrated. Not overrated, but like a little underrated. Um type type ish it's a very weird concept i'm not even gonna lie to you but i liked it never nevertheless though but my gym partner a monkey it's a scary old custodian uh was basically the only one they had they had like yeah that was the only one that was that was the only one i'm gonna keep it above it, it was one of it's, it, this we're only gonna talk about the first part because the second part really had nothing to do with anything um it was a science fair which honestly i feel like it was more scary than the actual thing but basically um old man Just an old man. That's all it was. Ah, get a warranty on the parts. It was all right. Whatever. I'm going to give it like a C-ish. I kind of want to give it a D, but it was like a C. Whatever. It is what it is. Next, Totally Spies. Fan favorite. Obviously, Halloween episode. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, totally Spies. Zombies. Hater. Marry me. Because I... See, now next we got a cult classic. Not gonna lie to you, not gonna hold you. Powerpuff Girls. Now, to be fair though, I will say this one is kind of a caveat because even though it technically did not come out on Halloween, it was a Halloween centric episode. It came out on December 16th, but it was a Halloween episode. Now, I'm talking about OG Powerpuff Girls, we're not doing the new Powerpuff Girls. We're not doing that. I know they got Halloween episodes. I'm not doing the new ones, bruh. I promise you, I did not watch Powerpuff. What was it called? Powerpuff Girl? Go? I don't care. Do not care about the new one. That is ah uh, to me, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. We're talking about OG Powerpuff Girls. And one of my favorite episodes of all time, Boogie Nights. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't even care to really explain it. But like, bro, Boogie Night is basically Powerpuff Girls going against Boogie Man, bro. I'm just going to insert this. I'm standing. Step three, really, all day. Gee, it ain't no step for a stepper. Exactly. That's all y'all need to know, bro. Uh, honestly, no bias, all bias, S tier. Even though it's not really a Halloween episode, it is centered around Halloween. It's on Halloween night in the show, so therefore I deem it as Halloween. S tier. Bring me on the boogie. W boogie man pimp. They literally had a. They literally the pal, the girls fought a pimp. I don't even know what else to tell you. The girls literally fought a pimp, bro. There's nothing more I got to say. Next, we got Johnny Tess. I know, booze once again. Boo, Johnny Tess. Boo, boo. Yes, I know. I'm one of those random weird kids that actually enjoy Johnny Tess. Not the later seasons, but more of the earlier seasons. Just like a SpongeBob situation. I think Johnny Tess was actually kind of like hilarious. I know people don't like Johnny Tess. This ain't for y'all, okay? Just go ahead and leave, bro. I do not care about your opinion. I will say though, these Johnny Test episodes were highly high key kind of fire. Not gonna lie to you. Little bit. You know what I'm saying? We got Johnny Chick Trick or Treat and Johnny Nightmare. I mean, these are kind of self explanatory. Not gonna lie. Canadian cartoons. Overall, I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B. Next, we have Scooby Doo. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. This was kind of hard because there's so many iterations of Scooby Doo. It's kind of hard to. It was kind of hard to pace any Scooby-Doo, so, you know. S tier for Scooby-Doo, because it's always Halloween. Next, we got Teen Titans. I know y'all saying, why, why Teen Titans? Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, since when is Robin into mime? Slade! But it's still goaded. Also, Raven Mirror. It's Prime Slade, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. My boy CJ, he did a whole video on this. Look, go watch that man's video if you want to know about the whole episode. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's pretty self-explanatory in, in itself. But basically, this was off the cuffs after them beating Slade. Robin's having nightmares about Slade. He having dreams about Slade. He ended up having fantasies about this man uh, to the point where he's actually out here fighting a ghost. And he's literally having... He's literally planted in this man's brain. 
He's literally planted in this bra man's brain. He's going crazy. He has everybody going out here finding a man that you cannot see to the point where he's seeing this man and he's getting his ass whooped by this man in his mind. And and it, and it all leads up to them tying Robin up in in the, on a, in the hospital. They basically try to have an intervention with this man. He wasn't having it. He was off the fairy dust <laughs> to the point where you know he ended up ultimately fighting himself. And then he ended up discovering that you know Slade wasn't there the whole time. He ended up got he he ended up got laced. Bill Cosby, big shocker, right? Yeah, I know, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's end up that's pretty much that. So you know. I won't consider it a Halloween episode, but people deem it as a Halloween episode. I don't, but it was never, it was never less. It was a good episode. Never less though. Uh, S tier show, C tier for a Halloween episode. And that's pretty much it for uh cartoon network. We're moving on. Now we got last but not least the big dog themselves. Nickelodeon. You're watching me. <laughs> I will say Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon always stays consistent. I mean, it's kind of hard to really like compete against Nickelodeon. I think Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon, Disney high key are up there when it comes to like hollow, like ho holiday specials, but really primarily battle of boxing. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a battle of boxing, bro. They, they boxing for a best hol like holiday special. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna mention every single one. Okay. So get off me. Uh, but I will be mentioning, like, obviously, the the, the hard hitters, the classics. Uh, but we're going to get into those later. First, we got Cat Dog. I mean, honestly, Cat Dog's a classic uh, before our times, obviously. But, you know, I mean, I will say uh, Cat Cat Dracula. How come we always go to work on Halloween, amigo? Because we have the legendary Peruvian vampire kicks, man. Compadres, been feeling thirsty. Sold in red, perhaps? Oh, what about we suck this stone dry? <laughs> Love with me. <laughs> Venezuelan ticks. Literally, that's the whole thing. It's just Venezuelan ticks. We suck. That's all. That was it. B. Uh, the Mighty B. Okay, I feel like this is a series that a lot of people don't really remember for real, cause I for sure didn't remember. But if you don't remember the Mighty B, it's uh, it's definitely one of those like cartoons that were more on the wackier side, like really wacky for a Nickelodeon show. It was kind of like Ren and Stippy, but like a little bit less toned down, I guess. Which I never really watched Ren and Stippy, but I I've seen clips of Ren and Stippy, and it's like, yeah, bro, I can see. I watching this episode alone, it was kind of like, yeah, this kind of like Ren and Stippy kind of, but like toned down a little bit. Um, easy synopsis. She turns into a cat. Next, we got TMNT. Now, I will say, I split the TMT, TMNT ones. This is kind of hard because I did. I grew up in the era where you know you have the classic two thousand like five, like uh, TMNT, but then you also had TMNT like uh the more the the cgi one i guess kind of like the first iteration not the not the movie but the one after that you know what i'm saying this was before team team and t rise which i kind of watched a little bit but not a lot but i did watch these two so i had to re i had to you know split these in two so we had the first team and t uh the one that's uh the curse of uh savanti uh romero which you know it was a two-parter I, I watched the first part because that's usually the one that most people go to for the scarier part um Basically, it's more like zombies. Simple as that. As far as a Halloween episode goes, I mean, it was centered around Halloween, but it wasn't really a Halloween episode to me. Um, I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a C. I gotta watch, I gotta watch the second part. Now, TMT 2005, on the other hand, was also a C. It wasn't, it wasn't too much spectacular. I'm gonna be honest with you. I watched this literally the, the night before I made this video, and I don't even remember what happened. So... <laughs> That should tell you. That should that that should definitely tell you. It was definitely a Halloween as go. Eh, eh. Yeah, let's just move on. Next we got Doug, a uh, classic. Obviously, one of, once again one of one of those before my time type of ish. I used to I watched Doug when it came on like. Uh, they beat up a ghost. Uh, overall it was a beat. I like. Next we got. 
Chop Zone! Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. When it comes to Nickelodeon, a lot of these upcoming episodes, I will say, have a lot of musical numbers. I don't know if that was a Nickelodeon thing. Don't know why. But there's a lot of there's gonna be a lot of musical numbers involved in these next couple of shows that I'm gonna uh talk about. But we got Chalk Zone, one of my personal favorites. The reason why I put it on here because I love Chalk Zone. I'm a Chalk Zone best show of all time. To be honest, I'm gonna give it an eight. It was fire. It was fire. It was it was fire. Now we're gonna rapid fire the next couple ones because like I'm gonna be honest with you, I've already talked about these on my previous one. And once again, come through. Go watch my old video, bro. It's like literally, you know what I mean? Like, you know, literally like, you know what I'm saying? Like, goaded. But, you know, we got the classics, bro. We got SpongeBob. We got Fairly Odd Parents. We got Jimmy Neutron. We got Hey Arnold. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Classic. SpongeBob, let's be honest. SpongeBob episodes are goaded. Uh, as far as the best Halloween episode, it gotta be, they're just all fire. I'm gonna say collectively, they're probably like B, B-ish for Halloween episodes. Rugrats scared babies. It's Rugrats B. Uh Fairly Odd Parents. Now I will say this though. The Fairly Odd Parents Halloween episode. Real costumes. Uh cool musical number. Fairly odd parents. Giant mega robot pumpkin. Play the musical number that came out of that. That, that was fire. I'm not even gonna lie. That was gas. That, that was gas. The Mimi Neutron, basically. Mrs. Neutron, you look so pretty and full of blood. Why, thank you, God. What? Look into my eyes, please. Same thing as Fairly Odd Parents, but slightly worse. Also, Carl Weezer. It was hilarious. I'm gonna give it a B, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bug. And at the end, like Jimmy turned into like some big ass octopus. Oh yeah, hell no! I'm not gonna lie to you. CGI back in the day, that was nasty, 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 nasty work. I'm gonna keep it a bug. Next we got Hey Arnold. I'm gonna be honest with you. I love Hey Arnold. This episode was no no different. Uh, it was pretty 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 like standard Halloween. Aliens. Wild Thornberries. I'm gonna keep it a bug. That's who? <laughs> Nigel Thornberry. Yeah. Nigel Thornberry. B. Well. <laughs> As told by Ginger. Salem Witch Trials. And the, it was good. You know what I mean? B. All right. Next, we got All Real Monsters. I'm gonna be honest with you. There is a Halloween specific episode for All Real Monsters, but let's keep it a buck. All Real Monsters was really just a Halloween show the whole time. Like their whole premise is like they're literally the first episode is a Halloween is the Halloween episode. But let's be honest, there's no there's no it's self explanatory, bro. I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's All Real Monsters, bro. I've seen I've watched some of I watched most of it, but not all of it. Like it was one of those one of those shows that came in passing. I like it though. I like I like creepy shows like that though. That's why I I, re, I regard it higher than a lot of these other a lot of other shows. Um, no no need to rate it. It's just it's all real monsters, bro. You know what I'm saying it's all real monsters. It's the same thing with Courage. Next we got uh, Invader Zim. Invader Zim had a fire Halloween episode. A. Next we have Nesdi Classified. Now trash type of episodes. It was a C. Next we got Zoe 101 Haunted Man Haunted House. Trash. Next we got Rocket Power. Reggie gets blamed. They TP houses. Raymundo loves black women. Uh, C overall. Next, we got Danny Phantom. It's about a blade. Now, I'm not gonna even lie to you, bro. I'm pretty sure if y'all ever seen any of my cartoon, uh, if y'all seen any of my cartoon videos, y'all know how I feel about Danny Phantom, bro. I don't care for Danny Phantom. I'm just gonna keep it a bug. It, I just wasn't on the Danny Phantom train. I never thought Danny Phantom was cool. I thought Danny Phantom was lame. I thought Danny Danny Phantom was like 
it just wasn't it for me i'm sorry like you know what i'm saying like it, it just wasn't it like you know what i mean but i will I'll, i'm gonna give props when where props is due danny fam's halloween episode was actually probably on the better side of halloween episodes fright night i give it a b now will i will this make me go to watch danny phantom in the future absolutely not i do not care about that man at all whatsoever still a boo-boo show don't care next we got another show where i'm not gonna lie to you not a big fan of and this is where we're gonna cut it off for this though type ish because like after this i was like you know what i'm not gonna do that so i will i'll be precautionary i will tell y'all yes there will not be no icarly hannah montana for the for disney no sam and cat no victorious nothing like that bro i'm gonna be honest with you i just don't care i'm gonna be honest i never watched those shows i don't care they could be fire don't care i don't even watch drake and josh i'm just gonna keep it a buck the only reason why i watch this because i know people are gonna get on my head if i do this do this and i don't mention drake and josh because anybody loves drake and josh drake and josh was ass i'm sorry bro sorry to tell y'all drake and josh is ass if you think drake and josh was good you're drinking you're drinking you're off the copium you're off the opium ball x bro i'm gonna be honest with you but yeah i went ahead and watched it um alien invasion was the episode name i'm gonna just keep it a bug it was all right bro it was aliens next we have all grown-ups now i will not lie to you i hate all grown-ups now the reason why i didn't mention all grown-ups with rugrats is because i feel like these are two separate shows all grown-up is a horrible show i'm not even gonna lie to you there is no need to age up the rugrats i'm just gonna keep it a buck just gonna just gonna be honest there was no need to age them up it don't and y'all making it a show with that being said it, the show was called TPKF. If you know Tommy Pickles, uh, Kimmy Fo uh, Foster, I think it was her name. Uh, whatever. Uh, basically, it was an episode uh, about. Uh, it's a crunch to me. Trash. Uh, B. It was I. Right. It was it was better than what I thought it would be, but no. Next, we have a cult classic a show that i feel like a lot of people don't be putting giving it its respects and i'm talking about El Tigre. it's like mucha lucha which i'm i would i wish i could have put mucha lucha on this list i really could but i just couldn't find the episode to review it uh el tigre is a is a show about you know what i mean my boy manny the real manny not no damn handy manny the real Manny, you know what I'm saying? Manny Rivera, you know what I'm saying? Manny Rivera, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? This is a, you know, on more of the, you know, Spanish side, you know what I mean? Uh, I love this show. The episode was called The Grave Escape. Uh, it's another Day of the Dead episode. Honestly, the best episode, I'm gonna just be honest. Probably one of the best episodes I've seen. Day of the Dead, Mexicans rule. As far as a Halloween episode, it leans on the low A, high B, lot high B. You know what I'm saying? As far as a Halloween a aspect of the episode. And Tigre, I believe in you. You are Erivera. Ancient tiger spirit. When you learn that. Last but not least that we're going to be talking about today is Keenan and Kale. The reason why I didn't put all that and all that stuff, because this list would be already long as well. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. My voice is already hurting from talking so much. But yeah, we got Keenan and Kale in the, in the Chicago of Trials. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Black people, witches, Chicago. Funny. They had this one scene that was kind of weird, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I think it was the scene where Keenan like spills like this chili on her, and they. Get out of here! 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 Get out of here!
what's up with Dan Schneider and Toes, bro? But like literally almost every show that he's evolved with has to do with something with Toes. That man is a weirdo. Look, I hope you hopefully enjoy. Give me some feedback if y'all if y'all like these type of videos. Um I like doing videos on these where I just like literally just watch this stuff and give y'all my ideas and stuff like that. I know I missed a lot of episodes and a lot of shows of stuff. Um like I said, if I missed any, put them in the comments. Let me know down below. Uh, once again, I got some more. I got some other videos coming up in the future. Uh, some more, you know, you know, experimental videos. We're steering away from the reactions altogether. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. But yeah, I like doing these types of videos. So I might do a Thanksgiving one, and a, obviously I'll do a Christmas one, like I did last year. Uh, so be prepared for those. Other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed. I love y'all. Once again, come through on the Twitch, beautiful.nick. What? Beautiful.nick. Come through on the Twitch, beautifulxnick, at twitch.tv forward slash beautifulnick to know, you know what I'm saying? On the Twitch, come through on the Discord if you enjoyed this video. Come through if you want to talk about cartoons and stuff like that. You'll be welcome for the most part. Other than that, enjoy your Halloween. Happy Halloween and uh, yeah. And if y'all think I was going to dress up for this, who do y'all think I am? Really? <laughs>